What it do? Dream Team, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with the threatening letter British people don't take seriously. What is this letter? And before we dive in and find out what this letter is, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Social media, Patreon, all up top. You know, subscribe to any of it, put all the links in the description. All you gotta do is hit the link, follow me, talk to me, human. I talk back. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. What we got? This right here is a threat that I received in my mailbox less than half a month ago. And as scary as it might seem to find out that there's a local investigation happening within my postcode because of crimes that I've been committing within my property, I'm not too sure I'm taking this very seriously. And I don't think any British people in my audience are either. And there's good reason for that. Why? Well, strap yourselves right on in. Today's video is about TV licensing. Now, oh. if you're new to my channel, you might not know. Hi, my name is Evan Edinger, and I like making videos about UK culture, US culture, anything else I find yeah. interesting. And today's, of course, is TV licenses. You might be unaware, but I have actually made a video comparing the US and the UK systems of how they disseminate their TV. I'll link that above. But for a too long, didn't watch, don't mm. feel like it right now. Basically, the way it works <laughs> in the US is you plug into the wall, you don't get many channels, you have to pay for them. A cable company will give you all the channels you want for an exorbitant amount yeah. of money, like a hundred bucks facts. per month for the most part, because they get landline and uh, Wi-Fi either way. In the UK, yeah, you plug in, you pretty much got everything and you're meant to pay afterwards. You're meant to be like, mm. hey, oh yes, I plugged in my TV to watch some live TV and now I've got to pay for it. However, you know, some people are new to the country, some people are old pensioners, or some people are just forgetful. And so they might not actually pay their TV license. Hence why mm. you get one of these polite letters in the mail. Now, if you are new to the country or an old person, you get the first one, it's pretty polite. You might say, oh, okay, I'm sorry, I made a mistake, and you pay the <laughs> TV license. However, okay. every consecutive month, you will get more and more and more. In fact, so far, I've got so many of these stinking TV licensing things Dang. that it kind of loses the entire scariness of it all. In fact, <laughs> we've got one from January, we've got one from February, we've got one from <laughs> April, and geez, I even got one before I even moved into the property. So it turns out I'm breaking the law before I even moved in. It was really hard to get this flat. <laughs> so what exactly do these official stamp looking documents really say? Well, this yeah. one here says there's a local investigation active in my postcode. And as there's no record for a TV license at my address, they've authorized mm. an enforcement visit. Now, that will scare a lot of people. You know, at this yeah. point, they're saying, you've broken the law, and let's just say you are someone that is watching TV, you're going to feel a little bit scared about this. So the entire goal of these types of letters is to scare you into complying and to pay for your TV license. It goes on to say, it is a criminal offense to watch or record live TV programs on any channel or device or download to watch BBC programs on iPlayer, which is basically mm. Boomer Netflix, without being covered by a TV <laughs> license. This could result in- <clears throat> Boomer Netflix. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay, keep going. Which is basically okay. Boomer Netflix. Without being covered by a TV license. This could result in prosecution, a fine of up to thousand pounds plus oh, legal wow. fees. But how much exactly is a TV license? Well, you'll be yeah. surprised to learn it's only 159 pounds a year. Unless, of course, you only want to watch in black and white. That's only like 33 quid. Not too bad. By American standards, <laughs> this is arguably quite a deal. However, yeah. I and I think many people these days aren't really tuning in to watch any live TV. In fact, yeah, most of everything I, I watch say. is YouTube related or possibly on Netflix or any of these other yeah. downloadable, streamable internet type things. That's what I was gonna say. 159 a year is not bad at all. $159 a year, not bad at all. But if you're not gonna, if you don't really wanna watch live TV, like I, I'd never, I'd never pay for cable at this point because there's too many streaming sites like Netflix, Hulu, Peacock, HBO Max, Amazon Prime, like there's just too many streaming sites for me to want to watch live TV with commercials and all that. Like only thing I need live TV for is sports. That that's literally and basketball is really the only live thing that I watch. And I mean, you basically on some of these streaming sites you can get those. You can get games on the streaming sites. But uh but 159 years, not bad. It's not terrible. It's just that most people, most young people for sure, don't watch live TV. Possibly on Netflix or any of these other downloadable, streamable internet type things. I'm not really using the TV for much of anything. And in fact, the TV that I own isn't plugged into the wall 
except to connect to the Wi-Fi so I can actually watch things I want to watch. But if they're sending me letters like this and are even detailing in some of these certain dates they're going to visit, like this one here, they're like, oh boy, April 13th, you gonna be in, bro? Because we're stopping by. We've got an enforcement officer. Shouldn't I be concerned when they come in that maybe they're gonna catch me, maybe look at me doing something on iPlayer or watching something where I don't have the rights to it and then I might get fined? No. Because you see, they don't actually legally have any right to enter my property. All they can really? do is knock, knock, knock on the door and say, can we come in? And I go, no, goodbye, <laughs> goodbye. That's it, you don't, you don't offer them in for a cup of tea, that's it. All they can do is knock yeah. at the door and say, please. And you just have to say, nein danke, no thank you. They'll use certain phrasing to make you think they have the rights to enter your property and scare you around, such as yeah. saying, what do you need to know about the enforcement process? Well, we can apply to a court for a search warrant to gain access to your property. Now that is true. However, there's a really important word in that sentence, which is can. We can yeah. apply for a search yeah. warrant, uh, but we're not going to do that because that's a lot of effort for this type of thing. So it's just I not going to God. happen. You don't have to yeah. worry. So yeah, it's a big piss take. But here's the thing. It's a piss take for people like you and me. We know the law. We understand how everything works. We're not going to take yeah. this seriously. But as I said, pensioners are people that these are really targeting. They're trying to scare them into paying. Mm. And also people like that. me nine years ago, when I first moved to the country as an initial expat, I got one of these in the frickin' door at Dovenflat, and I was like, oh my god, I don't know how this works. Are they gonna catch me? They said there's an enforcement officer coming. I, really <laughs> I swear arrested. to god. I haven't committed any crimes. And so I <laughs> I swear to god, I would be, if I had just moved there and I didn't know, like I would be worried. If I got one of those, I, I'd probably pay it just because I'd be worried. They said there's an enforcement officer coming. I don't wanna get arrested. I haven't committed any crimes. And so I do the thing that you're probably screaming at the screen right now. Why don't you just write to them telling them that you don't watch the TV? I did this. I said, come on into Dovin Flat, sir. I let the guy in. He gives one look to the flat and realizes, well, we've got a TV, but we use it so infrequently, it's currently under that one glass table that every British person has at one point in their life owned, <laughs> not plugged into the wall at all. Hey, I don't watch TV. I was like, I, I, I don't know. I'm watching stuff on my computer and I don't even know what iPlayer is. I put on the most American accent ever. He leaves. That's case closed. <laughs> However, that just kind of delays it for a little bit because they will eventually start sending you letters again like, are you still not watching TV? <laughs> Which is infuriating. So rather than have to tell them I'm not watching TV so that someone yeah. actually has to visit my property and go, yep, looks like you're not watching anything illegal. We'll write you down. I'll just keep yeah. getting these once every single month until the day I die or until the TV licensing fees are scrapped. Actually, just saw this in the news just yesterday. BBC license fee faces the scrap from 2028 oh. as Tories suggest it is unsustainable. So the current that system of how much the fee costs for the licensing and to even watch TV at all has been set until 2027. But the Tories are saying that they're going to basically get rid of that 159 pound fee as it's not really sustainable. Now, I yeah. don't really know why that's the, the angle they're going for here. And I don't think the Tories have done a very good job at anything. However, their decision to recently privatize Channel 4, which is profitable, is mind-blowing to me, only because <laughs> what they made like 74 million pounds profit in 2020. Let's privatize it. What? That That's actually working. The TV licensing may be not working, maybe find a new yeah. way of doing this, but Channel 4... I digress. So, it says... I Channel 4, I watch a lot of the uh, comedy... On my comedy channel, uh, go go subscribe to that DTN comedy. I react to a lot of stuff off Channel Four, uh, UK Channel Four, uh, and it is good stuff. It is I'll, I'll, it is good stuff on Channel Four. Can maybe find a new way of doing this, but Channel Four. I digress. So it says uh, an increasing number of households are choosing not to hold a TV license as fewer people choose mm -hmm. to watch live TV or other activities that require yeah. a TV license. Yeah, I, I mean, question for anyone Thanks. out there. Are you someone that actually watches live TV? I feel like the only people out there that are gonna say yes are sports people, okay? I personally don't give a shit That's about it. any sport. I just don't. I'm not gonna watch any live sports, and so I'm not going to pay for a TV license to do that. But if you're someone into the footy, if you're into the rugby, you're gonna probably want that TV license. And so it's kind of like a fee for enjoying sports. That's your sacrifice for the rest of us. Now, Labour's coming out and saying this is a horrible thing because we're gonna have fewer British-made programs for British audiences and less support for British jobs across the country. But I would disagree with- Why don't you just like make a, I don't know, deal with like a Netflix or create like a streaming site, a British streaming site or something like that. And then like for people who wanna watch, they like pay for it. And you just 
stuff like that. You could you could just do that, and then you would probably have more money for uh, British things, I guess, for British shows, British movies. Uh, that's, that's so. Just create a streaming service is what I'd say. British audiences and less support for British jobs across the country. But I would disagree with that because the thing is. BBC aren't the only people making TV programs within the UK. Netflix are shooting loads of stuff out here. Apple they, TV, yeah. Ted Lasso, anybody? You know, the one show that they've got? It Very was great, popular. shot in the UK. In my Facts. opinion, the question is not really if, but when we scrap the TV license. The thing is, you can't argue with statistics. You can't. They don't talk Facts. back to you, okay? The numbers do not <laughs> lie. And if fewer people every single year are tuning in to oh, watch wow. live TV programs, it's just a matter of time before it's just not sustainable, as annoyingly the Tories have said. It's not a thing that's going to keep making anyone really much money if more and more people are tuning into, for instance, this type of YouTube video. Thank you for subscribing. Yeah. Or Netflix or Apple TV or any of these other programs. But also, I do think it's important to note that the TV does serve a really important purpose for a lot of people in their lives. As much as I can uh. go on about like, oh yes, I haven't used the TV in years. There are people in which the TV is their only connection to certain people. You know, a lot of pensioners might just put the TV on and feel like they have someone in the room and they can fight off loneliness. Sort of like a boomer yeah. twitch, you know? Don't worry, that streamer's my best friend, okay? I watch him play every game and I love him. And he loves me back. <laughs> I gave him five pounds, he'll be better. And so, at the end of the day, <laughs> I'm gonna keep spinning. <laughs> <laughs> and so, if I you find yourself you receiving one of these threats into your post box at any point in your life, you don't have to worry about it. Don't take it seriously. It's less a threat to you and more to the establishment of TV basically going down. And don't worry, you can be trustworthy. You don't have to lie since you don't watch TV. Lie sense. License? All right, oh <laughs> we're ending with fun. Anyway, tell me your thoughts. Have you ever actually paid for a TV license? Do you watch TV? Are you that type of person? I'd love to hear your comments in the comment section below, or you can watch this previous video where I talked about the differences between US and UK television with my friend. Feeling good to be back with the old stubble and making content I'm freaking proud of. I'll see you around here on my channel next Sunday. Goodbye. I love that. Wait a minute, Eddie Gers, uh, his channel's always got good stuff. But yeah, I can, they're probably, they're, they're going to have to get rid of the TV licensing if the stats keep going down. It, there's just no choice. But that's all we got for this one. You guys got a favorite video suggestion, you can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Social media and Patreon are all up top. You can subscribe to any of it, put all the links in the description. All you got to do is hit the link, follow me, talk to me. Love talking to you guys. You guys are the most incredible team on YouTube. It's your boy, Daniel. Out.